two years ago, an expedition of brave men and women arrived on the cold shores of Caldonia, a land said to be cursed by the gods and turned into a frozen waste. Over the following months, our group of intrepid explorers uncovered mysteries, wealth, and ancient dangers, while slowly taming this god's forsaken place, while all the while facing many dangers from both creatures and the land itself. But just as they were on the precipice of conquering this ancient land and claiming its wealth and secrets, they awoke an ancient and terrible threat known only as the Scrags. The Scrags retaliated, killing all in the expedition, all except four. The four brave adventurers struck back, aided by divine wrath, and though they lost two of their companions, did not relent, if anything, they were more determined. While determined, two cannot stand against many, and so our avengers attempt to rally the gnolls to their cause. The gnolls claim that if they choose to join with the party's cause, it will be the end of the gnolls, and when presented with an ultimatum, they attack. Our two heroes are swarmed by gnolls and their wolves, and the situation turns dire. But stone spears and claws prove ineffective against dragon scale armour and divinely imbued weapons. Soon the pristine snow is churned into a red corpse-strewn slush at the centre of which stands a victorious but wounded William and Grimes, with only one knoll surviving the slaughter. They follow the knoll tracks back to their village, dragging their prisoner with them. When the knoll cleric awakes, they try to convince her to use her healing magics on them, but instead she magically holds them. For whatever reason, the knoll allows them to live and wanders off into the snow, but not before horribly scarring William. They rest and recover in the now abandoned village. During the downtime, William wonders whether the choices they make is worth the prices they are paying, and if they will be able to go back to what they were, or if their actions here will forever mar their souls and he seems to have fallen into a deep melancholy. Perturbed, William writes a final letter to Princess Sella on a scalp using his own blood as ink, hoping to use the falcon talons to send it, but to no avail. After they have recovered, they head west to the next volcano, hoping to ignite it as well. After a few days of exploring, they find another scrag hole and enter cautiously. They trudge down the tunnel for an undeterminable period of time and reach the core of the volcano, though this one has no sign of scrags. They start breaking crystals and dumping them into the quietly bubbling lava, and soon the earth starts shaking and lava roils angrily. They flee down a second tunnel as the volcano awakes behind them. Again, they travel with no way to track time other than their own weariness. Eventually, they encounter bugbears that are swiftly struck down and they continue forwards in the dark. What waits at the end of the tunnel? What do the falcon claws do? Will they make it out alive? Let's find out now on Frozen Frontier. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the final episode of Frozen Frontier. Ryan, Nick, how are you doing? Doing well. Are you ready Bitter for this? Sweet. Yep. Ready to oh, face right. our end. Mm. That was a uh, epic recap. Certainly was. Certainly. Certainly. And I think we're ready. I don't. I would propose we skip the chit chat. And, I, uh, yeah, I was just going to move right forward. into things. Mm-hmm. 
shit. <clears throat> the fuck is that now? Oh dear lord. Just Are those spamming. new hundreds? No, I'm just spamming some crap to give us a clean palette to work with. So don't scroll up, is that what you're saying? Uh, you can scroll up if you want, but I just wanted a cleaner looking palette. It's technical reasons, not campaign reasons. Okay. Sure. So where we last left off, you were heading up this hallway. Some bugbears had appeared, confident they were going to kill you. They were dispatched quickly. And now Grimes is stealthing ahead of William. Yep. Let's Just outside about this. of the light this... radius of okay. his uh, burning sword. Now someone looking down the hallway will sti still see the absence of light where you block it. You know. Maybe. It's not a perfectly straight hallway, right? There's texture to the walls. And I That's have, true. I've got uh, at least two of these scrag cloaks tied front to back. So I've like got like a <laughs> scrag cloak poncho. Nice. Do, and I'm, I'm, I'm double phased, slinking okay. along the wall. Um, and uh, I think I'll go ahead and put on my amulet, the amulet of shrinkage, and ask you if that gives me any sort of advantage on uh, stealthing. Well, yes, it does. You're much smaller now. Uh, why don't you make me a stealth check, Ryan? And why don't you take advantage on it? No, oh, literally advantage. Literal advantage. Is that That's how you planned, right. or is it just because of the way I worded it? It is because of the way you worded it. Well, thirty-seven. So I think I've managed to like pull myself against, like, up against the wall, mm -hmm. in such a way that I don't block the light. Yeah. In I any think... disturbing fashion. You go down the left side, William goes up the right side, you're small, you're pressed against a wall, you're covered in scrag poncho cloaks, and you're phased. Um, William, what did we decide about potions? Are I we, uh, are, we pre, like are we pre-gaming? Are we just chugging them all right now and rolling the dice? I think you should use the improvision. I'm going to try and hold off on the strength for now. I'm thinking I'm so too. Keep the gaseous form in reserve in case I need to get out of a surround or something. Where are these potions being held? So I think William is handing Grimes a potion of Infravision. No, Correct. I think we did it last time. I think you've got... Let me look at the list. I have Grease and Fire Breath. Okay, and now you're taking the Infravision as well. So I've yeah, got... I can't mix the Fire Breath with the Infravision unless I want Disastrous Effect, but... Yeah, I know. Uh, so I've got Reduction, Strength, Gaseous Form, and I've got the Frothing Crimson and Red one that... But physically, where are they on you? Like, are they in your backpack? Are they tucked in your belt or in a pocket? Or, you know, tell me tell me where you're storing these things. So if you pull them out in a fight, we can have an understanding of what that takes. Um, well, sorry, Ryan, you go ahead. Well, I, so I have mine marked on body, not in pack. I think what okay. I have, I think what I've rigged up, and I can do this for William as well, is twine so that they're like tied to the belt. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice, perfect. And okay. I would yeah. probably cut them off with a knife in combat to use if need be. Perfect. Also got a bunch of healing poultices. I think we should uh, pre-lube our bodies with healing poultices so we start regening before we go into combat. No. They I take an hour to take effect. Is that correct, Neil? It does, but I don't so think I they'll think have time to take effect in combat. It's if we pre-lube, we could regen at like one hit point every two rounds or something like that, right? Or every three. I think we just save it, right? We get into a fight. If we take damage, <laughs> we just healing poultice up and then cover ourselves with the scrag cloaks and wait for an hour. To heal back up. I'm most. I'm, I'm joking. Mostly joking. Okay. Mostly joking. Um. Cool. So my my improvisioning and going on ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The time. I feel the need to point out that if I'm holding my sword, I'm probably gonna have to have my spear in my offhand. Unless Neil, is there any way, even if uncomfortably, I can walk with a spear on my back somehow? Uh. No. There's no spear harness. There's no. You. You have, have one a... weapon deployed at a time. You know. I have a rope use. We can't tie a spear to his back. Is that really... Well, if you want to be walking down this hallway quietly, you're going to run into problems with that sort of thing. But there's a reason no one ever carries spears on their backs. You know, it's it, it's loud because it bangs against everything. It slows you down because it's really awkward to walk and you keep bumping into it. It's a huge pain in the ass, especially if you have a backpack on. Can I hold the sword and the spear at the same time in one hand? Why can't you just draw your sword? Because I need the sword for the light, but I also oh, need I to see. hold the spear. Yeah. 
dual but, wield I mean, sword and spear. I mean, if you're just holding them in later. your hand to walk, you can hold your sword and spear probably in the same one hand, but you couldn't really do anything in combat with it, and it would be awkward for long distances, but that yeah, seems... Yeah, clearly I wouldn't be able to fight with it, but I could just drop the spear immediately if I need yeah. to fight. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And which shield do you have deployed? Yeah, that's the question, isn't it? Um, I've got the lion shield, but I've got the dragon. I'm equipped to lion scale shield. Lion shield, sorry, lion scale. Uh, but the dragon scale shield I've still got, right? Just in my bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so if I do find myself getting fireballed, maybe I'll pull it out. Okay. But... Well, you progress down the hallway. Okay, so until... I, do you want to you give me improvision? Are we taking it right now, William? Yes. Yeah. I right. give it to you. Yeah, I think you should okay. do it, though. All right. How many feet of infrision does this give me? No idea. Um, I'm asking It you. doesn't work quite in that way. It's not your typical low light vision. You drink the potion and blink your eyes as they become a little bit grainy and sandy and you get like sleep in your, the corner of your eye. And as the, the feelings begin to dissipate and you look around, you notice that William is no longer the William you recognize. He's more of a splattering of reds and greens and yellows and blues where he's warm and where he's cold. This is more of thermal vision than standard infravision. So you see this bright spot where William would be and then like cold, dark hallways forever. And if I conceal myself beneath a scrag cloak, do I still see the heat from my body beneath? Yes. Ooh, nice. Nice. Okay. Do I have any feel for how far that this vision extends? As far as you can see. Uh, what if I head off down the hallway first and look back until I lose sight of William? Uh, so we do that right now. I say, yeah. wait, wait there, and I sure. You run down like 400 feet, and you still see William as a red spot against a black outline. Perfect. So I'll wait for him to catch up, and then we'll proceed as indicated with me sort of outside of the light radius, mm -hmm. proceeding ahead. Um, yeah, and I am uh, shrunken. You make it maybe a mile down the hallway, and it's getting cooler and cooler. You're still nice and toasty from your red dragon scale armor. Uh, when Grimes begins to reach the end of the hallway, you can see a room opening up before you, sort of. It's hard to see because it's all cold and dark, but... You know, the, the visions sort of mix enough that you can get the shape of a large room. Uh, There's no heat spots atop this cold background, are there? No. And there's no the light. Of life. Uh, the only light is what shines from behind you from William's sword, which in this icy cavern is sort of reflecting and bouncing off all the walls, giving you sort of nice bright light all the way down, or ambient light. Well, um... If uh, I don't see anything approaching this, I will uh, crouch next to the entrance to the hallway and conceal myself in the shadows. Uh, I don't see any end of the hallway on the map, but right. uh, I'm, I've got I'll a go separate ahead. map for you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a hide check if that's okay with you. Mm-hmm. Um, also getting advantage, right? Maybe I already rolled the hide check, but anyways, here's another one that's even better. So I crouch Jesus. at the entrance to this hallway okay. and poke my head sort of just out you know, past the portal and look into this chamber before me. This Do chamber is similar to the last volcanic one that you were in, and I'll bring you to a map in a moment. Um, except instead of it being hot with a big boiling pit of lava, uh, it is cold as ice. And suspended above the cavern is some sort of rock structure it's roughly square with weird rough protrusions coming out of it. Uh, and there are many bridges leading up to it that like hold it from the, the edge of the ring to suspend it above the, well, it probably was once a volcano, but now it is cold and you haven't ventured the, to the edge to look down. Um, I scan the rest of the chamber looking for exits Give or me uh, signs check. of life. Perception is, I believe, a 14. And I will actually go ahead and pull out my gem of true seeing as I scan this room. Mm -hmm. um, do I have the... 30 will be fine. I was going to say, do I have the uh, spyglass, but it doesn't matter. I think okay. you, you do have it. 
you scoot a little bit closer and you can look up one of these sloping bridges and notice that there is a, a scrag there. Just the it's one? Just one. Its core temperature is much lower than William's. It, it shows as a like a, a faint green marking against a blue or black background. Interesting. Whereas William so these red. scrags are cold-blooded? Something like that. Or at that. least colder-blooded than humans? Yeah. And as you're looking at this one and creeping and looking around a little bit more, you get all the way to the edge of the opening and you can see to your left, there seems to be another scrag near another bridge. And there might be another one on top of that bridge. You've so far counted three scrags within sight. All right. As William sort of approaches me, I like hand up to stop. So he sees me like crouching in front of the doorway and I like motion three. And then I like point out the three bridges ahead. All right. So I'm at the entrance. I'm just at the end of the corridor. Yeah. And uh, Grimes, you can hear your enemies uh, as William approaches and the light from his sword begins to flicker and echo into this hallway and sort of illuminate the large room. You can hear one of the scrags say, they're here. William, your sword gives off so much light, so much burning light, and this area is so frozen and cased with ice that your light sort of shines and reflects in the chamber, making it illuminate a much, much larger area than it normally would have. Oh, I've nice. given it a lot of low light vision for this. Purpose. Can you give me, do I have infravision already? <laughs> um, you do. I don't know if there's a way to give it in roll 20. So you, so you don't want to give me light vision. You, If you could, you would just make it so that I can see tokens. Right. But none um, of the terrain. That would be cool. I don't think roll 20 has that functionality. That but, functionality uh, does not exist, unfortunately. If any devs are tuning into our stream to steal our great ideas, <laughs> have that one free. Yeah. I'll wait my usual consulting fee on this one. <laughs> but Grimes, you should be able to see one, two, three scrags. I can see a fourth, so... Uh, yes, there's a fourth. I was actually holding that one until Ryan got a little bit closer, but yes, you can see a fourth. I think I've stepped forward a little further. So, I mean, I nailed that stealth check. So I think I've, like, I'm, like, crouched, pressed against the wall, shrunken right there. So it's shrink... Can I get a gauge of how shrunken I am? About half size. Half size. Okay. Yeah. So we've got, like, a three-foot grimes crouched. I'm probably... My profile is, like, a foot and a half, right? If you take a knee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're so pressed against without, the side. Without going any further into the corridor, can I see this fighter? Uh, no, that that is a, a raising, ramping stone bridge that goes above the hallway. So he's but maybe Grimes like 15, like, 20 Grimes feet up. Is like, mm -hmm. I can't, my cameras are burst. <laughs> Grimes is like three, and he like points to, e to each of the stairways to point out where, Grimm, where, where, the, where they are. So it looks like one ahead two to the staircase to our left. Oh, wait, there's one more to the right. Okay, well, I... Um, do they make any actions when they or when they see the light? Like, I've stopped William where he is, but they can clearly see the flickering flames down the hallway. Right. That scrag fighter in front of you had called out mm -hmm. that you were approaching, um, and you can see the ranger has a arrow knocked in his bow. Mm -hmm. But they're waiting. They're, they're yeah. waiting for the siege to begin. They We're certainly haven't to. spotted you. There's another hallway up there. There was no forks behind us, was there? No forks. Let's deal with these four first, eh? Um, yeah, I, I think I, I think I have to tell uh, William to wait. Yeah. And I am going to try to sneak into the room. So I'm going to, like, inch by inch, maybe taking 10 minutes if I need to concealing myself fully with beneath the scrag cloak in front. Mm -hmm. I, you know what I think I do? I probably pull the, I've got a scrag cloak backwards in front of me. I can pull the hood over my face and see with the infravision through it. <laughs> at least where the scrags are. Yeah. And like run an elbow along the wall and just like inch this way. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want me to, if I need to like make a new hide check with each shimmy or if I can just shimmy along the wall. You've already got done too, Neil, I think. They should just roll against the 40. Yeah, unless they have infravision or something. 
Yeah, unless they've got thermal vision too. I mean, okay. You've still separated into hide and move silently. Yes. Would you like me to make a move silently or something? It's got, uh, it's please it's do so. Skill. You've got your boots. So you get oh, advantage yeah, 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 on that right. because they will help, you know, dampen everything. So is that another advantage? Yeah, advantage on your, your move silently. Whew. Not as not as good as my hide. I mean, even without the advantage of 27 is pretty solid, but... Okay. To start your creeping. Yeah. Um, and after I get to here or so... Well, we Once expect you... any traps or anything. Now, once you get to a certain point, though, you and William aren't going to be able to communicate. As it is right now, you guys can't talk, and you've got no real signal for when to throw William into the action, other than alerting all the scrags by shouting. I think he'll. I, th I think he'll hear the screams. Yeah, <clears throat> I intend to. Yeah. 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 How far I can mean, I move to attack now? So you feet? can. Uh, 160 feet is your movement, so you can go 100. 120. Oh, uh, 120 yards is your movement. So you can go 180 feet and make an attack. Okay. Or you can charge at 1.5 times that. Right, but you need a straight line for a charge. Or, you know, like a curving thing, but no, like, sharp angles on a charge, so you can, right? You uh, can't, like, you need, charge here, yeah. charge here, and then charge okay. up this, I see is what, what I'm mean. saying. And you probably can't charge uphill. I don't know if that's a rule in the books, but it seems... It seems silly logical. to get charge bonus uphill. Yeah. Yeah. So my plan, I think, is going to be to... Uh, Actually, I mean, I'll, I think I'll just creep it. Oh, man. Let's see. Grimes has moved partway into the room and frozen <laughs> still as a mouse. Mm hmm. His little heart racing at twice the speed because he's half the size. Oh, Neil, sorry. Before we carry on, um, you know, the initiative of my sword is two lower. Three lower? Two lower. Because of your high. Because of. No, because it, you said because it's just a. It's oh, just a hilt. It's just a hilt. Right? Yeah, yeah. Lies. Right. But then also, my initiative's three faster because of high mastery as well. So is my initiative... Zero initiative. Did you get yeah, high mastery? Or I thought you just got mastery mastery. No, you did get high mastery. high mastery. Yeah. So is my sword initiative zero? I suppose it would be, yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. I think, yeah. I think that, I feel like that's how the sword, there's a sword of swift, like a short sword of swiftness or something that mm -hmm. gives you just a d10 for initiative mm -hmm. or something like that. I think we gave Qualmir something along those lines. Yeah. Um... So I'm gonna keep s creeping this way. I'll go all the way to that, uh, to this other entrance if I can. All right, keep your, keep your creeping. <laughs> it's the, like... So if I get here and I'll, I'll take a glance down that hallway to my left. It's a fucking straight hallway as far as the eye can see. Interesting. Um. Do these guys up top have line of sight down below, or are they concealed by the bridge? No, they have... you. If you can see them, they can see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and the the map has the vision blockers at the the entrance to these things, but, okay. you know, this, like, this is a doorway or entryway, this is an entryway, and so forth and so on. Uh, once like you get to the... Up, uh... Yes, this is a, a room up here that is enterable by these bridges. So can once you get on top of the bridge or in the room, which would be at the top of the bridge, um, you'll see what's inside. But until you climb one of those bridges, it's the angle is not good enough. What were you going to say, Grimes? Uh, can, I, can I sneak underneath these bridges? Like, do they go up? Like, is there a space behind there? To yes, slip? but that space is a plummet to the frozen volcano below, hundreds of feet yeah. down. So if you could climb and go past, but if you slip, you fall to your death. Yeah. Hmm. Is there no way back up if you fall down there? You could climb up the walls. Okay. But it's, you know, hundreds of feet. So actually, if Grimes wanted to sneak up on the wizard, he could climb down the wall, walk across the ice, climb back up the other side. Right? I mean, there's a million things he could do. Right? <laughs> I guess that's technically one of them that might work. Um, you know the this one that sort of looks like a wizard over here? Mm -hmm. Is it... Are we saying that I, I can't see that one? I would have no idea that that's a wizard. And uh, Yeah, your vision would... is... 
Uh, yeah, because this this hallway is too short, so but you probably to can't see anything. Past the hallway, would it be reasonable for me to go and attack that one because I can see it's a mage, or is that a bit metagaming? You tell me what you want to do, but it doesn't seem metagaming to attack a person based on their physical description. Fantastic. That right. seems very it sounds it sounds prejudiced to me. <laughs> Prejudice does not mean unreasonable. Um, so do I think it's uh, more stealthy to slide along the wall or to, like, army crawl along the floor? Is there any difference? Six of one, half dozen of the other. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm going to try and get over here. Actually. Yeah, so I am gonna get down onto uh, onto my belly, <laughs> concealed by the scrag cloaks, right. semi phased, and start sliding this and way. That's about when the scrag ranger notices you. Um, you start getting on your belly and crawling, and your boots are no longer dampening your sounds, and it's so still in here that like you hit something that is slightly fragile, and like there's a bit of a crack, and the ranger looks, and then spots you and you can hear him shout in scrag he's there and right. we will draw our weapons we will roll initiative good luck everyone yes beat that nail Many of them now. Holy cow. <laughs> Alright, I go first. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I got the right scrag count. Um, and it looks like we're in the right order. The two players go first by a large margin. Holy shit, do you guys go first? So, what William. is William's reaction to hearing the scrag shout, He's there! Well, All William uh, hears is, Sith Salah! So I, I, I fear the gigs up, I run into the corridor, I take in the scenes, I look around, I scan, I see the fighter in front of me, I see the ranger near where Grimes is, and then I see spot this wizard at the top of this bridge up here, and I move 120 feet up to here. He is covered in stony skin from head to toe. And I, with my magical sword that does magical fire damage, I will attack him. Give me a roll of hit. Uh, let's see here. We're looking at... It's 17, right? Yeah, 17. 22. Yes. Your flaming sword goes right to the wizard and clears by 10. You crit him with your flaming sword. For 30 damage. Holy shit. And that's magic fire damage, so Stone Skin uh, loses a charge and doesn't even do anything. Stone Skin is completely ignored. The Scrag screams in terror as its clothes go up in flames, and Grimes makes a move. Uh, Grimes is going to retreat down this hallway, uh, reconcealing myself against a wall and writing an attack to assassinate anyone that pursues. So I would try to like rehide mm -hmm. in any nook that I can find. Okay. And uh, get ready. If uh, they took so much longer, I think I, I rolled with the dagger for the speed. Mm -hmm. But by the time they get to me, I think I'll have my long sword dagger. Actually, my long sword does roll as a dagger. The phase rolls as a dagger the, too. The long phase yeah. does roll as a dagger too. All right, so you can have them. Yeah. All right. This next ranger, first ranger, comes over here, moves along the side to get a flanking. Eh, he'll back up a little bit again. So he's got a back shot on William. 1d20 plus. I was going to mechanize it with macros, but I think I'm going to just roll it like this instead. Uh, two for back attack. It hits you with a 30, William. No shield. No shield, right? Is that clear it's by 10? Yeah. There's no penalty for the angle? No, because it's the, just the, shooting the, like, up, right? 
Yeah, that's yeah, fine. I'm not sure if there's like any cover from the bridge beneath him. It's fine. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. he looks like he's at the very edge of the bridge, so I think it's fine. Uh, you'll take 10 damage from an arrow as it hits you on your lower backside. Um, next up is the Scrag Fighter. Who I don't think has spotted Grimes, really. I mean, the ranger shouted, there he is, and then William came charging in. Yeah. All right. Uh, the fighter will go inside and try and do a, a switcheroo with the wizard, which will uh, provoke, provoke an attack an of opportunity. For the wizard? <laughs> On the wizard? Um, I think we've said in the past that if you want to, you can take the OA for someone as you switch places with them, right? We've had you guys, like, someone takes someone else's place and takes the OA. We so certainly haven't the, abused it, but that seems yeah. reasonable. Yeah, so the fighter comes in and puts himself between William and the wizard, provoking an attack of opportunity from William. Does he get his shield and stuff to this, or is he... The fighter? Yeah, he gets yeah. all of his ACs. 30. You hit, nice. but you don't crit. For 18. Oh my god. All right. It's dropping by 18. Poof, goes down, and he will make his attack roll at you, William. With a 30 to hit. Hits. But not a crit, right? No. Okay. The Scrag slices at you for 11 points of damage. You are wounded, buddy. Yeah. You can't keep this up for much longer. The wizard's spell was interrupted. And so the wizard will... So, um, sorry, Neil. So to clarify, he's gone through a door. Uh, no, there's not actually like a door door there. It's just I can't reveal the lighting partially. Um, I'm just gonna okay. move you. Hmm. But can I see where the wizard is still? Yes, uh, the wizard has just like gone in into the side a little bit. Would it, if uh, I, if like I right follow the here. wizard, would mm-hmm. I be on? From, would I be covered from the ranges on the, around the edges? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, once you're okay. inside this, these walls are solid. No one would be able to shoot you from the outside. Okay. Um, so the ranger just retreats on his turn. Uh, the wizard retreats on his turn. This ranger is going to come to here and hold an action. Uh, this one will come down the end of the hallway and roll to hit you, William. Oh god, it's another hit. Um, it's a flank attack, so it doesn't get plus two, but he gets plus one. So a, a 27 is not a crit, I don't think. No. No, Who is okay. this? It's the the Scrag Ranger on the left. Oh, okay. Oh, he moved. Okay, he moved. Yeah, he moved. Yeah. Uh, you will take two and two is four damage, William. Yeah. Uh, next, you hear the incantations of a, a Scrag caster inside, which end followed by shouts and cries. Um, and the next Scrag goes... It will move to here and take a shot at you, William. Five and 18 is 23. Miss. Miss? Miss. All right, arrow fires uh, past William. Right. Doing so nothing. I haven't done anything this round. I would like to switch my dag- ready dagger to mm-hmm. throwing. Go for and it. can I finish moving as well? Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to step out here. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm going to follow behind William. I'll step out here. Let's hope I don't roll a one, because I'm going to have to throw my phase dagger. Oh, God. Uh, D20 plus seven, unless I'm, like, hidden from this guy. And I think I should go for this fighter and push our way in. Yeah, let's push our 15, way into the... Uh, we'll bounce. Mm, yeah. It will... Even if he doesn't see it coming, which makes it a... Well, actually, if he doesn't see it coming, he doesn't get dex or shield to it, which yeah. will drop his AC by four, bringing it to 18. All right, roll um, And then did you get a plus four to hit for being concealed? Oh, no, I did not. So if I get plus four for being concealed, yeah, that would he can't be a 19. See you. 19, and yeah. The then his dex and shield doesn't apply. Nothing. His actually fighting style doesn't apply either, so it drops to 17. So you do hit with your phase dagger. All right, six points of damage. It and hits I uh, and I pull out one of my magical throwing daggers to mm-hmm. at the end of the round for second shots. Okay, uh, Kel Marshall, do you want to make your second attack? 
yeah, as part of this attack, could I try and push him into, like, drive him back into the room as well? Yeah, go ahead. I'm making my second attack as well. Yep, please uh, make probably him. not quite concealed anymore. 14 is going to miss. Definitely going to miss. Know, what do these magic throwing daggers do? Critical. Get him, William. I think that Roll your damage, William, destroyed. while I look up the throwing daggers. What's it clear by 15? His AC is 22. Yes, it does. But, oh, whoa, yeah. 42 damage. Uh, holy shit! That brings him to one hit point. Oh no. Damn it. Uh... But do I drive him back into the room, though, with that blow? Definitely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, give me a post strength check is what I was gonna say, but he's so badly wounded. Or she is so badly wounded. Um, she 42. rolls... Holy shit. Oh my god. She oh. counters with her own 36, but it is no match for Holy William. Holy shit. The rolls. <laughs> the fighter gets driven back into this thing, and you follow suit, William. You can now see the rest of this room inside. Yeah, Before you is a statue of Bellum on the right, a statue of Velthara on the left, and a bunch of other stuff. Um... Neil, do I get any hint at what the throwing daggers do? Uh, I'm I will tell you if you hit something. So, what did I roll? 14. I don't think a magic bonus is going to get me a hit unless I'm still concealed. No, there's no bonus to hit with these daggers. It doesn't, like, return to me or anything? No, it does not. Okay. Okay. Uh, second shots. Second attacks, right? Um, all the rangers get second and third shots. The fighter. Is there anywhere to crouch in the, uh, by the, like, is there a railing to the bridge? No, there's no railing. But you're small already, and you can crouch for a low profile. Mm -hmm. um, so let me just get a bunch of D20s. And Grimes, tell me your armor class, please, because Rangers uh, have you as a target for most of their versus shots. Versus missile weapons, it's going to be a 22, plus whatever bonus Ooh. I get being small. Okay. Don't the rangers, are they a specialist or something like that? They can't be specialists. They're rangers. They can be, are they have They've finesse or something? They've got expertise and they are high level. So they get many attacks around. Two, four. Okay, here we go. So the... There's two rangers, right? Oh, no, there's three. There's three that you can see. Um, two from the guy on your right, Grimes. One of them is a crit. Natural 20. Natural 20, yeah. So modified 20, uh, 38. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give you the equivalent of 50% cover for just being half size. Sounds fair. Um, DM screen tells me that is a penalty of four to hit for them. So they actually only have a plus 14. So that is a 34 is what it is. It's clears by 10. 10, okay. So that's that a natural 20. It's a natural 20, yeah. So it's like a triple damage. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, but they only do D5s, D6s for damage, right? So it is 14, 15 damage to you from that shot. All right, reduced uh, by one to mm -hmm. 14. Yeah, two plus 18 minus four does not hit you. The other ranger will take two shots at you as well. Um, six plus 18 minus four is only a 20 is a miss. 13 plus 18 minus four is nine and 18 is 27 is a hit. Four. That's including the minus four. Right, uh, yeah. 13, 18. 13 plus 18 minus four, yeah, it's 27 is a hit. Uh, for one and two is three damage. And the third scrag will take two shots at you as well. A two and a one on the die are complete misses, going right where your head would be, where you to be standing up. Um, um, lastly, like the rangers it. on the inside. Okay. Hold on, William. Yeah, that yeah, guy yeah. was I holding wanna... a shot for when you moved in. You're in now. He shoots. No, That's going to be a single hit for four damage. Then he gets two more shots at the end of the round because he gets a lot of attacks. A two is a miss. A 14 is going to be a single hit, I believe. Let me double check my math. Yeah, that's a single hit. 
for one and two is three damage. I gotta start rolling a roll 20 again. That has better damage outputs. Um, I think that's everyone in, that's everyone in combat this round, yeah? Yeah, initiative. Initiative. Wait. Yeah. Primes, you don't have extra shots with your throwing daggers. You got one uh, more. I was just using regular dagger attacks because I mix mm -hmm. a dagger and a throwing dagger. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've made two missile attacks this round. Okay, let's do it. Initiativize, everyone. Uh, Oops, can I drink a potion button. and still attack if it's on my belt? Nope, a potion is a full round action. I really should have drawn the strength potion before this started. And now yes, I'm absolutely. Shots. It's unfortunate because that is a really good potion. I don't know why you didn't. I you're just be... got caught up in the excitement. Yeah, you're going to be kicking yourself for not doing that. Okay, that is all the enemies have rolled. Um, Grant, Mar Kel Marshall, you are first again, sort of unsurprisingly. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna use my sword and shield to attack. I wanna hit the fighter with my sword and then shield bash the wizard. Yeah? Sure. Go okay, for it. So I fight I hit the fighter first. I take a minus two on that, so D twenty plus fifteen, seventeen, shit. <sighs> the sword whistles through the air, missing the right. fighter. And then I'll attack him with the shield as well, then. Um, so it's plus one for the gloves, so that's 11, and then minus four, right? So, seven. 23? That is enough. 22 okay. AC. The fighter goes down with a terrible cry and a death. All right. Okay. And I and I will be following William into this uh, into this building. Um, uh, I would well, let William move if he wants to do any movement oh, after I, his attacks. Yeah, I can't okay. See yeah, so no I want to move up next to the cleric. Okay, cool, perfect. Uh, yes, Grimes, go for it. It's your turn. I can't, um, my map is all black, so I have no idea. Oh, what's right. Going. Uh, um, so I will follow William into the building. I would like, my phase dagger is sticking out of this dead uh, warrior. Is that case yes and then there's the throwing dagger that missed can we resolve um, give the... me a d6 to see if it falls off the bridge and down where it'll never be reached no you find it it's fine yeah so it's somewhere on the ground here okay. you so grab those rocks. as you run up the bridge um how long is it all right i come into here and i think i'm just gonna unleash a flurry of uh actually i'm gonna i'm gonna go melee i'm gonna press this wizard you close to the wizard. Close He's chanting wizard. a spell. Eyes are getting a yeah. little bit wide as Grimes approaches um, him. Weapons drawn. And I draw my sword of swiftness from my belt. We'll actually we'll, we'll deal with offhand in a second. So I'm making primary attack with my phase blade. Let me just double check my hit bonuses. I think I'm only at plus six oh, yeah. melees. Yeah. 25. Oh, we crit the wizard. Oh yeah, you uh, do. Is that double damage. 12 or AC. Triple. It is three times damage dice. So 3d8 plus d6, I just obliterate this wizard. Um, How much of your damage is magical? Uh, only d6. Then roll me 1d6 right. for damage because he's got stone skin on. Oh, okay. So he takes uh, four. So the stone skin eats the, does the crit not take multiple? Uh... No, crit is still just a single blow, single hit. Yikes. Okay, so he takes four points of damage. He's still standing. He's still standing, but his casting is interrupted. Um, you get your second attack. Yeah, I'm thinking I should leave this wizard, though. Uh, but while this is going on, Neil, we do have to address that the fighter would have took one fire damage from my miss and would have died. I thought we stopped doing fire damage on oh, your okay. your weapon on misses. All right. Yeah. Um. So I think Grimes just keeps moving. He interrupts the wizard spell casting, and can I can I split my attacks and run over here and make my offhand against the ranger? Absolutely. The wizard doesn't even have a weapon in his hand, so he cannot make an opportunity attack. So Grimes is just flitting around the battlefield, and I close with this now, ranger. As you get to here, Grimes, I want to tell you something before you make your final actions. You can see that on the bridge uh, going down are two rangers. In fact, now that we're all inside, I'm just going to get rid of the lighting so you can see people who are on the bridges. 
because you're gonna have they, a, an ability to they see don't that. have shots inside correct um they can move to, like they're just a little bit down the bridge so they can get up a they few can, feet yeah. yeah yeah well um i like whirl around the ranger taking cover behind him and i'm gonna okay. make a, an offhand attack there we go that's fine plus five a 20 um he uh, probably turns to face me still a hit 17 ac nice um for four points of damage all right Ranger Wait, does it, not, it does five damage as well right no this is my sort of whatever sort of swiftness or whatever this is my multi-attack yeah. sword so i get an extra attack at the end of the round all yes, right sure. uh the cleric goes where's there a cleric it's oh, right, right next to william yep incanting the words to a spell the cleric reaches Sorry, out william. to touch you william give me a opportunity opportunity attack two right one upper, uh you don't get an opportunity attack for punching with your shield i don't he think he's dual wielding with his shield i think i, I wouldn't need to be fair multi-attack okay else does. but that's i i don't feel no no opportunity attacks with your shield i'm sorry <laughs> can i roll can i roll do you have the sword I'm shield wrong. fighting yes i feel like shields all right well if you've got the fighting you, you style miss. then i'll give it to you but i want to mm -hmm. avoid the precedent before right. it. i mean I think I think using multi attacks as your attacks of opportunity is already kind of goofy. I, I think so too. Doing that all campaign long. Yeah, twenty five. Right, two twenty fives. Okay, well uh, they each clear by six, so uh, that doesn't okay, matter. Not, Second one, the that. shield is a crit. Yeah, shield uh, is a crit. <laughs> you crit him for shield damage. Multiple d fours. Oh. oh, sorry. Uh, roll d twelve. These, these should be a plus four to hit. Four plus. Why? Because he's making, making a touch attack against you. That's true. By um, rules is written, you get a, if you try to make a touch attack against an armored oh, opponent, they get an okay. attack opportunity at so plus four. The first one's a 29, does that crit? That does clear by 10. And the uh, shield, does that clear by 29? How much does that clear by? 10. They both okay. clear by 10 because they're the same number. <laughs> 32. Holy shit. Um. Well, you definitely bash him to bits. Counseling that doesn't spell interrupt spellcasting, right? That does not interrupt spellcasting because the spell's already, already cast. cast it, and this is him trying to touch. Yeah. yeah, and here comes the touch attack with a 20, which is more than enough to hit your AC to touch you, William. Yeah. Uh, the wizard, or cleric, touches you with the final incantation of his spell, and nothing happens. And you see the already sort of pale scrag ah. go deathly white as something, some realization crosses his mind. Something's gone horribly wrong. Something has gone horribly wrong. Uh, next up is one of the rangers who bops inside, looks to get a, an angle on Grimes, doesn't want to risk shooting his ally, puts away its bow, and will close in melee with you, Grimes. Uh, it makes a roll to hit. Melee attack adjust for Rangers isn't as good. Uh, it's a 30, though. <laughs> Still <Yeah>. pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't start by 10? 10. Okay. Uh, oh my god, even worse. Two damage. D8 plus one for two. Oh, if I had my other offhand, that wouldn't even be anything. But one damage. Okay, um, wizard goes. Wizard spell has been interrupted a second time, and the wizard just falls back even farther. Next up is the ranger, Grimes closed with already. Uh, it will pull out a sword and move around to get a, a flank on Grimes, making another attack roll against you. Five and 15 is a 20, and then nice. what? Uh, oh. flank attack maybe twenty one. If you're facing twenty one is my AC. There's no way to get. I'm shrunken. Oh, I forgot to de shrink. I think I must have de shrunk because I've been rolling full damage. Right. right. Okay. Yeah. I don't know when. I sorry. I forgot to That's account fine. for that. You, you probably did it while you were running up the bridge. Yeah. Um. I think that's gonna be hit then. Um. I guess if he can get a flank with my back to the wall, there's no way I can get above a 21. Okay. For four and one is five damage against you, Grimes. The sword cuts deep into your leg. All right. Next ranger up. This one is going to do some fancy footwork. 
and come up behind William this way. Shit, I did, lost my count of how far you're moving. That looked like more than he can move and still attack, I think. Um, yeah. 160 feet. There we go. Which is, I guess he can still, he can move 180 and attack? Yes. That... Yep. So this ranger comes up behind William at five or six feet of distance and just makes a bow shot at point blank with a natural one. The shot goes high, he clips the ceiling. Hit versus the cleric? Cleric's on the other side of William and much, much, much smaller than William. But I don't I think, think that's an option. That he can only make one attack or half of his attack. Half right? of his attacks rounded down as one. Yes, mm -hmm. good call. Thank um, you. This other one outside is going to come up the staircase. And also this one will just get one attack this round and shoot at William's back as well with a 30 to hit. So hit. Uh, you don't get shield for this AC because it's coming from behind. Is it clear Close by 10? By 10. Yeah. Hits you in the back, four, five, six, seven damage, William. Okay. Second attacks. All right. Start it off. 34. Yeah. Crits <laughs> that... on five, stop. Uh, yeah, you, it has 19 AC, so it's definitely fucked. The range, what, what AC do the rangers have? 17. You hit. Okay, so hit. Well, six damage. You rip the scrag to shreds. It dies with horrible screams. Can I turn right. it close with this ranger? It's only a few steps. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, I ping a ranger for two. Which one? Top or bottom? Uh, the bottom one. A little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. Okay. Second attacks. There are none for the rangers. Nice. Rolls? Initiative. initiative. Whoops, that is uh, not the initiative button. These guys have switched to swords. Jeezy Creasy, William, how are you rolling so low? You yeah, started off initiative. again. Um, these guys don't have shields. And they no, wear they're bow light, fighters. They wear li light armor. Leather armor, AC 17, after 17. decks and everything. Okay, so I'm gonna attack with the shield as well. Uh, okay. So I'll roll d20 plus 15 for my sword against this guy for 31. That crits on fives. Uh, then you double? By 14. Yeah. So it's triple, three, triple so three damage. times damage dice, yes. For 28. All right. And wounded, uh, badly wounded. Scrag cries out as the flaming sword cuts through it. Oh, and then this the nice crit with the shield clears by 10, so 3d4 plus 4. So even on a crit, the lion shield doesn't bite? No, it does not bite, ever. Um, you hit it for another 9 damage. Holy crap. Grimes, you have been surrounded by Scrags. Yeah. You've got your Grimes, wall in the back. Uh, disengages. Uh, okay. These rangers have switched to their melee weapons, putting their bows away, and I just dance circles around them. I'm gonna head over here to the warrior's corpse and recover my second phase dagger. So you pick it up? And like, go phase, I was sheathing my swift sword in the process. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna dance around the battlefield. Let's see where I wanna wind up. Um, I think I'll actually wind up closing with this ranger unless I can see the wizard. That's fine, uh, you and can't see the wizard. these are small creatures, right? Yes. So they can't even block me. I can like get behind this ranger. If you wanted to, I might make you do like a posed dexterity check to get behind him. Some sort of like maneuvering, because these are advanced sure. warriors. Yeah. Um, 1d20 plus... No, the ranger, even though it's a small, it's got this it bow like and arrow and it just keeps me. like, yeah, poking at you and dancing back and forth. All right. Is that and... the end of your movement? Um, there's nothing like down this way, is there? No, not that I can see. Probably yeah. not that you can see. William's light is the William's sword is the only light. I have infravision, but it um, looks like the true. wizard retreated around the corner. Yeah, you couldn't see him from where you were. Yeah. Maybe use one of your potions, Grimes. Throw the grease. I've already him. disengaged. He's already taken his action. All right, Ranger goes. Last round, he drew, threw down his bow and drew his sword. This round, he sheathes his sword. Picks up his bow. That's and got to at least. That counts I'll, as half move at least. It'll be or a something. half move. Yeah. So it comes over one here. Shot at one the end shot. Of the round or something. Um, I'll make give him his one shot right here. 
And he'll take a shot at Grimes, who was engaged with him a moment ago. With a, oh my god, 19 plus 18. Ooh. Oh, that's a hit, mate. 37, what's your AC? I think with your exploding crits, that's just an insta-kill. Maybe, what's your AC? Uh, 21. So yeah, Unless three times, four times damage dice. 4d6 plus 2. Oh, near to max damage. Grimes, you take a hefty shot on your flank. It's like right below your neck. You are badly wounded. The ranger that you're squaring off against Grimes is just going to walk down the thing, provoking attacks of opportunity. Um, cool. The 20 plus 6, 20. That'll hit. And plus 5 with the offhand. Is a miss. Is a miss. So that's a D8 plus oh, D6. No, no, no. It hits because he turns his box and moves armor. Uh, I think he backs sweat down there, Yeah, right? he doesn't just walk. Yeah, he's a smart guy. Yeah. He backs so 11 sweat. damage. All right. He goes down to the bottom of this. Can't really get an angle on you, but he's free at least for now and has a ready to attack. Next ranger was the one that moved to engage Grimes. He's going to keep his sword out and he's going to move um, to this. He's going to come over and flank William from behind. <coughs> Can I rotate to me and, and go like this? Yeah, Taking it's fine. From both. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's do it. Roll to hit is a adjusted 19, uh, 29, which I think is a single hit. Yeah. No crit for five points of damage with the sword. We might need to disengage Grimes. Do you think you can run away from these rangers? I think I can gussy his form and get away. All right. Uh, the wizard finally gets a spell off. Uh, I guess none of that is going to work. Nope. No, no, he's out of holds. So I guess this is just a monster summoning spell. Um, the wizard chants the words to a spell and you guys don't see what happens and we'll deal with it on another round. Cause it's out of sight, out of mind. Second attacks. Second attacks. All right. Uh, so first of all, the sword on this wounded ranger, 27. That clears by 10, right? Does clear by 10, yes. So 23 damage to him. That is enough to kill the ranger. It dies. All right. With a, a horrible burning, dying scream. Ah! Grimes, second. No, you have no attacks. Uh, I um, made attacks. Right, right. Initiatives. But, no second. This one's ranger, gonna... ranger. Let's. Yeah. Plan, William. I don't know. If we can't disengage, we have to fight, right? There's oh, no God. way. Another natural one for Kel William. Started off William. There's no way. I don't think there's any conceivable way of you guys retreating against these folks. Especially since your cloaks are already all ripped up. 21 is a hit. 18 damage is impressive and badly wounds the scrag in front of you. 26 Ooh. is just a crit. Yes. Uh, I mean, it, yes, yes, 17 AC, you clear by almost not quite enough. Scrag is badly wounded. It's its turn to retaliate. It will slash at you with a sword for 22 to hit. Miss. Um, right. Hold on, let me double check their attack bonus. I think it's only plus 15 for their long swords. Let me double check though. Ranger, plus 15 for arming sword. Yeah. That's a miss. So, Neil, I rolled with potion initiative. Mm -hmm. I'm going to huck a potion of grease. I believe uh, 
weapon speed trumps uh, ties. I believe right. it does. Yes. So like me make so I can make my po my this grease attack before the polar bears come charging. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. So my plan is to chuck a grease potion down this uh, down this is hallway. That, is that the the spot on which you would like it to land? Uh, I think so. I don't remember how big it was. Let's look it up. Going. But I don't think Grimes knows. I think I uncork it and I'm aiming for like there. Uh, let's see. A hundred square feet of area will be affected for one minute. That's like a that's a ten by ten, right? Yeah. Ten by ten, so I will probably block this. Yeah. Do I need to make a roll to hit, or is it just a, no? You're just tossing it. It's fine. It's fine. So um, I think it's like this portion there. This is a ten by ten. Here we go. That should be a ten by ten. Yeah. I'll praise the ten by tens. All right, you chuck your potion of grace. Any movement on you, Grimes? Uh, yeah, I'll be withdrawing uh, down like this direction and trying to like take cover behind William in this doorway, avoiding shots from that ranger over there. Although I'm not exactly sure where he is. Okay. All right, this next ranger has a bow and takes a shot at William. Another natural one. The arrow hits the, the ranger in the right in the maw. Yeah, that's okay. The, that seems saving. like he should make an attack roll against his ally. I'm a saving throw versus death for that. That seems like a pass. Um, it just hits William's shield right in the maw, doing very little. The next ranger is down here and is going to start to skirt to this side and come up to the top of this bridge. Just it's going to only get one shot this round, but it does move to within shooting Grimes range with a 12 and 18 is 30 is a oh hit. Oh my God. Hit crit. It's a hit. Doesn't Just clear by 10. Okay. For three damage. Reduced to uh, one. Uh, can I, can I chuck a potion and then rephase? Is that? Yeah, that's fine. Interacting that's fine. with items is fine. Okay, so yeah. one damage. Uh, uh, and then Grimes is already gone. The polar bear gets to go. The polar bear comes thundering down this hallway, letting and out a mighty roar. And makes a saving throw as it goes sliding through the grease. Yeah, it just wasn't as good of a roar as I was hoping it would be. That was that wasn't a roar. That was a confused polar bear falling in the grease. <laughs> uh, saving throw for the polar bear. I feel like a dex check might be whatever. We're just gonna do a saving throw. Uh, One, two, I, mean, 20. I think it's got specific rules, doesn't it? It probably does. Saving throw for a polar bear. Look it up. Um, saving throw versus spell, right? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. This Probably, is your, yeah. Your yeah it's a saving throw versus spell, not death. So it fails. The polar bear comes barreling around the corner, hits its paws on the grease, and just like slips and trips out, sliding into the wall and falling prone with another semi mighty roar. And then the polar bear party commences. <laughs> yep. Let's see those saves. All right, the next polar bear comes around the corner. It also... I feel like it should get disadvantage because One. of the Oh, bear. God. I think with the that two... critical miss, I think there's just a polar bear pile, a greasy the... polar bear pile. Yes. And the, third, and the third one can't really make it over. Uh, the third one's actually going the other direction around, unfortunately for you guys. Uh, it's going to come charging around the corner. And make attacks. Bear Polar. It rolls to hit. It brings a claw against you, William, for a, a 13. No. The second claw comes at you with a 13. No. The claws patter around on either side of you when its head comes in to bite you. It goes right for your thigh. The polar bear's mouth is bigger than your entire head. It could grab your thigh in one fell swoop, but you bring your shield down on its nose. Maw versus locking. maw. Lion versus bear. How much cover is this polar bear giving me from that last ranger? 
Uh, probably not very much from this angle. But the ranger but would if you, well... you were right there, oh, yeah. maybe. But right here, maybe not. And this, you know, it's a scrag. It's only like three feet tall. And William's it's a massive guy. He already shot though that ranger, right? He rolled the one. Maybe I don't remember. Yes, did, everyone's he... done. The whole round's over. Second no, attack. Second attack. Okay. All right. I guess I'll just. We could maybe try and push that the range behind you off the bridge. That rise. was my plan. Yep. Yeah. Thirty-three. Oh, nice. on the ranger. Yeah, that's Double a crit. Full, that's Clears by seventeen. Triple crit. Or AC seventeen. Yeah. Oh my God, William. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. But he's oh, down so low. Um, Initiative, right? Ranger in front over here gets second and third shots. All right. First shot at William. Any cover from the bear at all? Plus one AC? Fine. I'll give you I'll give you 25% cover from the bear. Oh, which is not gimme. Uh, two AC. Okay, two AC. 26. 26 shoots. Okay. Let, let me... Uh, they need um, all right, so that that prevents this from being a crit. It's just a regular hit this time. You'll take four damage from that, and it's second shot. Oh, hold on, we need our bow shots in here. I taunt him in Scrag. What do you say? Back here, you ugly scraggly elf, and I poke my head out from behind uh, William and wave at him. No, in he's scrag. not taking that bait. Hmm. Although, no, no. Doesn't take the bait. Takes another shot at William. It's another direct hit for four, five points of damage this time, William. All right, I mean, I'm low. You might All right. the yeah, I think, see if we can't try and retreat and use a pulse or two. Initiative. Barrel through that ranger and get away. Initiative to use a potion, even if it's on my belt, is three. three. Yes. 69. There's a lot of them. All right. Grimes, you're the very first one to act. We're going for it. This ranger behind me has a m missile weapon, right? Missile weapon is drawn. Arrow is being knocked as we speak. So I'm barreling through him. You get uh, plus four because of your size. Yeah. Um, so that's a roll to hit to knock him out of the way. All you got to do is hit his natural AC, which in this case is actually quite high. I don't I don't get any bonus to this hit, right? Although if I charge... You, still get you your need level. 30 feet for a charge. Okay. I've still got my what? Your level. Yeah. It's not just a flat D20. Oh, God, no. You miss. But he's got uh, a ranged weapon, so I just keep running past him. Um, and I'm going to go for that hallway out there. For the hallway? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to retreat down this hallway. Grimes goes down the hallway. Uh, one of these polar bears gets up. It's still pretty greasy, and it's in a polar bear pile. Let me make, give them an in check to see how they can, if they can get out of this shit. No, the two polar bears rolled natural threes and fours on their intelligence checks. They are sort of pawing at each other and covered in grease, which is disappearing on this round because only lasts for one round. But they're pretty cranky about everything. Um, maybe, maybe he'll get to his feet and sort of get out of the grease range because it is ending this turn. But I don't think I he feel, gets far enough to close with William. I feel like I should get plus one to my initiative for it being on my belt. What say you? No. Okay. I mean, but it goes simultaneously, right? You're, it's, you're fine. If yeah, you're using fine. a potion, it takes effect at the same uh, time, yeah. unless there's a delay. Uh, so you, what do you do, William? Drink the potion of gaseous form. All right. You go gaseous. And I flee. Uh, all right. Your movement speed is going to be much slower in gaseous form. Okay. Uh, what is your gas? CS form movement speed. Is it hiding? Oh, uh, it's not. That's not a spell. Is gaseous form not a spell? Uh, uh, 
I it's a uh, wraith form. form. Yeah. Uh, the, the potion is different though. Okay. There's a so, potion of gaseous form, but it's not a spell. Sure. You're gonna. We're just gonna say half movement rate because it's not specified. Movement three is the potion by the books. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, so I you know can this move because it is like the only potion Georg ever made. <laughs> <laughs> so you can move at thirty yards per round, which is ninety you know, even... feet. Yeah. All right. So I I bail down the card of the crimes one then. Yeah. You can just barely get off screen. Uh, the ranger. Is going to move to here. It's not going to be able to see Grimes. We'll move to here. I I've disappeared like another hundred feet down that hallway. Yeah, I'm going to give it a. Can creep? Can you be hit with magical weapons when you're in wraith form? I think uh, that's a good question. In wraith form, you, you definitely can, right? Uh, in in form, gaseous you definitely form. can. In gaseous form, it might be magic attacks. It's kind of vague in the description. It, says in the, it says in the potion you can only be harmed by magical fire or lightning. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the potion is better than the, or different from the spell. You can also, I can hide the base in the around. Hide in the crux of the rock, if possible. If a whirlwind, and, okay can't be harmed except by magical fire or lightning, which do normal damage. A whirlwind inflicts double damage. Okay. Can enter any space that's not airtight. Yeah, so only magic fire and lightning or All wind. Right. The ranger fires a harmless shot down the hallway. Um, and the polar bears come charging down the hallway too. Um. So the ranger, the scrags aren't gonna pursue, but the Ooh. summons will. And I'm they are going down at, the hallway. I'm looking at these uh, bridges, and they're only like five, six feet wide. Mm -hmm. Can a large polar bear move down them? Are they rock? They're rock on the picture, but I, I was rock. imagining rope bridges. No, no, they're, no, no, they're natural rock. Yeah. Still, the polar bear has to like squeeze to go down it. Yes. And I'm not even seeing a potion of grease. Is that just using the first level wizard spell? Uh, it's a. It's a po custom potion. Okay. Yeah. Um, so look, you guys leave the room. You can't see what's going on here. Uh, uh, but what you can see is that so the polar on. bears come chasing you down the hallway. So the polar bears that fell by the grease spell need to make saves every round until they pass. The grease spell, pass, remember, lasts one round, one minute. Okay. The, the grease potion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so they will start coming down after you uh, in a little bit. It is Grimes down the hallway, polar bears chasing, gaseous form William coming slowly afterwards. Yep. Um, so I, think I don't Grimes. think I can I outrun the polar bears or are they? No, like... they are going to be faster than you. You cannot outrun a polar bear. Uh, so what is your plan going to be, Grimes? Hide with the cloak, maybe. I feel like I got enough of a head start. Cloaks I'm surprised the polar bears. Shattered. I'm surprised the polar bears can even pursue me. Well, they're being commanded by a wizard, so you know. Mm -hmm. He's got more cloaks than I do. Yeah, I've got a million cloaks. Yeah, Although... but you'd have to stop and pull them out of your bag, and the polar bears are chasing you directly behind. It would take, like, a minute to grab your cloak, and by then they would be on you. So what oh, was the plan? Another, this is just another long, straight hallway. Long, straight hallway. Um... I've got at least a couple of minutes, so I, I don't know how many hundreds of feet I cleared on the hallway but I will run. And uh, if I hear a polar bear barreling behind me, I think I will attempt to hide under cloaks. So uh, should... describe to me how it is that you get to hiding behind these cloaks. Cause the one you're wearing is already ruined. Yeah, I'm running down this hallway looking for a nook to hide in. Uh, is, are there any? Um, I don't or know. You're kind of surrounded in darkness walls. actually. You can see the polar bears because of your infravision, but William's sword is out. So maybe the polar bears can't see you either. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I think well, you can see can't them. See in the dark. They just, they, how can they even bumble down this hallway? That's you true. Bumping into, bump into spiky crystals and all sorts. Right. That's true. Okay, hold on. Let's. Oh, thank God, there was no coffee left in that cup. Um, <sighs> let's take a moment because the polar bears are being commanded to follow you in the darkness. 
and they might not make it off these bridges. Is the chamber even lit? No, they the chamber is not lit at all. Trucks. I think those polar bears fall right off the stupid six foot bridge into the ice. They might. Dude. I'm gonna give them some dex checks. Um, yeah, because yeah, there's no vision, there's no light. And they're here. coming, they're running. Yeah. Down a six foot, down a hallway that's like narrower than them. Or down a bridge narrower um, than them. That's not a good roll. That's a great roll. Natural 20 on that check. And, okay, so two polar bears will fall to their deaths. Probably the two that still had greasy paws. Yeah, yeah. One of them will manage to make it past, and there's a ranger on the bridge who can easily get out of the way of the polar bear. Possibly even ride the polar bear if it wanted, but it doesn't. So two polar bears do die. And one right. polar bear is running down the hallway. Yes, and hold on. There were also winter wolves that were summoned oh, that were God. being sent after you. And uh, winter wolves do not have magical vision either. Well, they have blizzard vision. They can see through snowstorms, but they can't see through darkness, natural darkness. So they get dex checks as well. No, they will not make it after you either. They will they will fall off of the bridge and die. Um, so Grimes' plan was to run down this dark hallway for several hundred feet and try to conceal slash escape. Um, after this round or two had start, is there a polar bear? There is a polar bear. That? You only have, you don't even have a full round head start. It chased you the same round. So it's, you're within um, one round of each other as it chases. I think it made attacks against William as I was running, but whatever, maybe not. Um, I mean, maybe William went gaseous, you're right. Yeah. So you th pull out a cloak from your backpack while you're running and lie flat on the ground? Not or flat what? on the ground. No, I, cr I would crouch, try to hide, and if okay. the hide is unsuccessful, I will ready a, an ambush on the polar bear. All right, well, the hide is automatically successful because the polar bear can't see you. It's just barreling down this hallway in the darkness. So it's just yeah. a matter of does it Do run I... into you accidentally or not? I press myself against the wall. Give and me. Like, crouch. Oh, on the amulet as well. Give me a, um, a DC 25 dexterity check because it's a big bear coming down a not so big hallway. 26, oh. lucky, lucky. You press yourself to the, the wall and you can see this red shape moving down the hallway and you can feel its fur brush against you very gently as it keeps roaring down. We're gonna go to our first break of this game and when we come back, we're gonna see if the party can get their shit together. See you on the other side.